Hey, in this video we are going to discover the last one of the steering behaviors provided by the AI library Yuka. The idea behind the interposed behavior is to make an agent follow the location of the midpoint of an imaginary line connecting two other agents. So as you can see here we have two vehicles following two targets using the seek behavior which I have already made a tutorial on. And we also have the cone mesh which is also linked to a vehicle but doesn't have a steering behavior yet and that's why it stands still. Having said that we'll make the cone follow the line that lays between the two moving spheres. To do that we are simply going to create an instance of the interpose behavior class and pass the two vehicles as arguments to the constructor and that's it. Actually, we can display the line connecting the two spheres, so let's do that. First, we'll create a buffer geometry, then call set from points and pass an array of vector3 instances as argument to the method, and this will create a custom geometry with two vertices represented by the array elements. Next, we'll create the material of the geometry and of course the mesh and add it to the scene. Now we'll need to access the position property of the line which contains the coordinates of each end of the line to match them with the sphere's positions. Then to update the position of the first vertex we need to call set xyz which first argument represents the index of the vertex that we want to change its coordinates. The rest of the arguments are the coordinates values which we'll copy from the position of the first sphere. Then of course we'll need to do the same thing with the second vertex which represents the second end of the line. And finally we have to set the needs update property value to true because without it nothing of the code we typed will work. And this is it for this tutorial, so make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.